Hello everyone. Welcome to my course Python project. I am Amit and today we are going to start a new project that is finding the host name with the help of Python. As you can see on my screen, I have written the code and I will going to explain the code, how it works and how you can find it out the host name. Before start, first we will see what is the host name. Host name is actually the node name or a label that is assigned to any host or a node when they are connected in a network. So usually when the device, they are connected in a network, how you can identify that device, right? You need something to identify the particular device on a network. When they are connected on a large network, you can, as you can say worldwide web, or you can say a connect internet. So when any device or any network or any system, they are connected in a network, then you, you need something to identify that. That is called a host name. You can say IP address is also a host name that is used to identify the particular device or a network. Host name is also known as node name, domain name that is used to identify the a system that are connected on a big network. So before that, uh, I will explain you before coming into the code, how this code works. I will first show you the output then we can see that what is the meaning of this code, what instruction I have added and how I can achieve the target of finding the host name. So in order to run that, what you need to do it, you need to go to the path where you have placed your file. As you can see, my file is present on this path. Amit Python project. And this is the folder name. So I will copy this whole path. Then open the command prompt. In your window system, you open this command from and just type CD and paste the path and press enter. Once you paste this path, you will come to that path as I was already on this path, but still I have shown you how with the help of this CD that is change directory command. It is called a change directory command. And when you paste the path and press enter, you will come to this path. Now, as you have written the code in a Python, you need to type Python and then give the name of the file. What is the name of the file? Just go and see the name of the file is host name IP address, right? Now I will go into paste it in, in the command from host and press tab. You will get the file name. Now, once you press enter, it will ask you to enter any website. Okay. Host name is used to find out the node name, any website you type it, it will show you the host name. Now let me try with uh, the simple one. Let's take an example of Google. So you can see here. Okay, I think I have typed. Okay, here I have done the spell mistake. Here I have typed double two. Let me run the again code and type it correctly. www.google.com.br so when you type it, you get this IP address, right? This is the host name, which uniquely identify with this IP address. Similarly, you can try for another also. Uh, let me try with my college name. Uh, like, uh, yeah. So I just tried an IT route killer as I studied there. So I remember the website. So let's try with that. NITRKL.ac.in. So when we type it, let's see whether it's giving the host name or not. See? The host name is the same. What's your website name? But it is giving you the IP address, and that IP address will going to uniquely identify your website on when it is connected on the network on the World Wide Web. So World Wide Web is the connection of all those web pages or like a website or a node in in the network, and they your website is hosted on some server. So when we request this website this with the help of this ip address they make a connection and they show you on the screen so let's come to the code now as you have seen this is the output the host name now let's come to the code how we achieve that in order to achieve that you need to import a socket it is nothing but the python file it is a python file that you have imported on the code and when you import it code it is having a definition of this host name get host name function this is a user defined function but when you uh, import this socket it will going to help you in fetching this get host name function 
this socket dot get host name is one function which is defined inside this socket library and when you import it and you pass this host name they will going to print it so here i have written one predefined um, i here i have written the user defined function this i have defined this function in this host name i am taking a user from the input i am asking the user to enter the input once the user enter the input you will i have written the code inside the try and accept block as in the previous video also i have explained you what is a try and accept block you can go through it and i am in this video also i am sharing you this is the industrial practice a standard practice to write a code on the try and accept block the reason why if there is any error exist on this part then they will throw an error and accept block will going to handle it so if there is any error exist your code will still run your code will not going to interrupt but if you write a normal code without this try and accept and if there is any error exists then your code will interrupt immediately at that time that is the reason that in the industry in a software company when any software they develop a code even when i also develop a code in the company so i used to write the code inside this try and accept block why i write this in the try and accept block so that by chance if there is any error exists due to some syntax error logic error on this try block accept block will be there to handle it based on the type of error we use this accept block and they will going to handle it in case suppose if there any there any error exists then this accept block will going to pass this error and they will print it that there is any error on your code right and uh, here once you are done this you will call the function as you call this function it will it will the flow will go to this function and it will print it the host name of that whatever website you have read it so this is the explanation of the code and i have shown you the output also you can see this output and you can compare this code with this output also you can see i have added here the ip address whatever ip address you will pass it it will going to print it so in this way i have shown you like how you can find out the host name with the help of this python code if you like the video then please comment subscribe and share it in the next video i will come up with the more project let's meet in the next class bye